Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Delve. Today we continue to beat the heat by working on our water gun combat game. Now last time we got serious about creating a nice squirt effect. We aimed for a mixture of fun arcadey goodness while also remembering that we're shooting water guns. It took a lot of effort but the final results were pretty dang nice. So today we continue from there by adding an ammo mechanic to the game because our water guns can't hold infinite water. This will include a way to regain ammo, or water in our case. And finally we'll add secondary attacks to our game which is, hopefully, really gonna spice things up. That's our plan so let's get to the coding. First thing up was adding ammo variables to our game, which is pretty much the same as our pump system only without the recovery code. And instead of going with an ammo drain variable, I had the drain for the primary fire be a static number of 1, but we'll see the ammo drain return later. Next, I drew up a quick sprite for our water spout, which will be the way we regain ammo. In the water spout code, I had squirt spawn when the player is nearby, because if a fountain squirts and no one is around to see it, does it actually squirt? Anyway, in the code for the player and spout, I had the player ammo refill to max. And to keep players on their toes, I gave the spouts a decay number. Each time the player used the spout, it would decay. When it hits zero, the spout is destroyed and a new one spawns in a random location to replace it. And testing showed we had a working ammo system, including a refill system. So while the player can't continue firing at zero pump power, they're unable to fire if they have no water in their tank. I should also note that I'm using 30 as the max tank size for testing purposes. It'll be larger in the future. And so with all that working, we can now focus on the secondary fire for our water guns. These are going to be special unlockables that allow the player to vary up their playstyle. But before we could get to them, being ever so teased by their comments, we first had to move our squirt effect to a script. This way we could reuse the effect in multiple places without having to copy and paste. Now that our squirts were multi-purpose, we could focus on the first secondary attack, the spread shot. It's exactly what you think it is, a shotgun style multi-shot. Using a loop, I had three projectiles spawned at varying degrees to create the spread effect. Upon testing, I realized, holy crap, I forgot to add a cooldown. It created this awesome water hose effect, which gave me an idea for a new secondary attack. But first, we had to add that cooldown. And while I was at it, I tweaked the lifespan timing for the spread shot to bring it more in line with the shotgun, which testing reflected pretty well. And if it looks a little plain, that's because I haven't added the squirt effect yet. See just how much that squirt effect sells everything? Anyway, I added ammo drain back to the code, only this time as an array. Each secondary would cost a certain amount of ammo, which would be considerably more than the primary fire. This would make sure that the more powerful secondary weapons were used sparingly. Also, I added the squirt effect. And these changes really put things into perspective. With a greater ammo drain, the spread shot feels more like a secondary attack than a replacement for the primary, which is exactly what I was after. So now that we're feeling a lot better about secondaries, we could start adding more. And the next up was the rapid shot. I'm actually still torn on what this weapon should be. The rapid shot I coded this session basically acts as a fast firing version of the primary weapon. This would basically allow the player to empty their tank in a barrage of bullets instead of waiting for the primary's cooldown. But the alternative I'm thinking about replacing it with is an automatic rifle style burst shot. I feel like both have their pros and cons, so we'll have to wait and see on this one. So next up on the list was the long shot. The long shot is a large slow moving projectile that'll eventually also have a piercing shot effect added to it, meaning it'll be able to go through multiple enemies. For now though, I'm just looking to set up the basics. And so I had the squirt spawn to move slow and last like 10 times longer than any other squirt. And the results were pretty much as you'd expect. While it doesn't seem like much of a threat, remember this thing will be able to go through multiple enemies. Anyway, basics for the long shot were done, so next up was the splash shot. And for now, I simply just needed to spawn the squirt, which much like the long shot will have extra properties to it added later. The splash shot is meant to eventually pop, spawning multiple damaging squirts in its place. Kinda like a grenade. So yeah, not much to look at right now, but it'll be cool once we get to the good stuff. Moving on though, we had to add that cool idea I had from earlier. The hose shot. Granted, I don't know how well this will actually work in play, but yeah, it's basically our primary fired at an extremely high rate, thus creating the hose effect. 
But as cool as the effect is, it's quite similar to the rapid shot, so we may have to make some changes to those secondaries in the future. But for now, that is the list of secondaries we are working with. I'm hoping these will allow for more varied play than just the one way to use a water gun. It'll definitely be interesting to see how these work when faced against actual opposition, so fingers crossed that they aren't all duds. But that's for another day. For now, that'll do it for this episode of Let's Dev. So remember that if you like this video or enjoy Let's Dev in general, be sure to hit that like button. If you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode. And as always, be sure to leave your thoughts on our progress in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.